Hey, good Thursday morning, everybody. It's November 2nd. I'm Chris Allen. Welcome to uh, the Sam channel, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Well, and X too, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. So on this Thursday morning, what I like to call Little Friday, uh, we've got uh, some chilly temperatures again this morning. We've got uh, plenty of uh, clear sky that's going on. Uh, there's there's not a whole lot going on, period, just because of the uh, atmosphere that's under high pressure. But this last morning that we have this really hard freeze type of situation, uh, it is uh, still uh, chilly very chilly, uh, satellite this morning as we switch to that. Why is my butt not working here? Hang on just a second. It's because I'm not clicking the right one. <gasps> there we go. Uh, you see some high clouds trying to approach the Wabash and Ohio rivers this morning. But other than that, uh, things are very quiet. High pressure is in control, but it's going to be moving east. It's already, really, the center of it's already east. So that means a warmer flow is going to take over today, which is certainly good news. Uh, we won't have any more very frosty nights here for a while. Things will begin to warm up. It may get a little chilly tonight, like, you know, around freezing, but that's it. All right, we'll take a look at radar and advisories this morning. You can see that it's the East Coast from New York to Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., all the way down to Charleston, South Carolina, even into the tip of Florida, the panhandle, we call it. Uh, and uh, even, you know, again, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, all the way to Louisiana and Texas. Those are freeze watches and warnings that are ongoing there. Nothing here for us because it's already happened. You get one a season, hard freeze, freeze warning, and then that's it. We Even if it freezes the next few nights, because the freeze warning is set up just for mainly to let you know that your crops, your plants, any kind of vegetation is going to die. That's it. That's the end of the season for growing anything. And it's certainly already over for us. It was over a few days ago and we still have had some very, uh, frigid nights. And, uh, I think we're going to get warmer though. In fact, I know we're going to get warmer thanks to high pressure, which is taking over. So these temperatures that we're seeing this morning on the Kentucky Mesonet network at five 30, it's five 30 as I record this podcast. Uh, you can see that there are, again, some low 20s, mid 20s, and then the usual suspects. Cumberland County, the, the Kentucky Mesonet Station in Burksville, right on the river, 17 degrees. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that's uh, hmm. that's pretty cold for the beginning of November. And then you go over to Butler County in Morgantown, it's 22, almost 23 degrees. Same for uh, Grayson County, Litchfield, 21.6, rounded up to 22 degrees. And then you've got some 20s, and there's a couple of 30s back here to the west. But uh, yeah, that's this should be the last of those kind of temperatures for a while as high pressure moves east and we begin a nice warm-up over the next few days. In fact, let me show you that. Here comes the model blender this morning, and we're looking at a nice climbing of the hill here of temperatures. We go from the frigid teens and 20s this morning up to mid-50s. I'm going to go with uh, 55. Yeah, I could hit 56 uh, today. Then you go 60s tomorrow or around 60, and not as cold tonight. You see that 30. Yeah, that's just a couple of degrees above freezing, but at least there instead of teens and 20s like this morning. So we go 60s, low 60s tomorrow. We go mid 60s on Saturday, sunshine. Same thing for Sunday. We go near 70 
upper 60s to near 70. 70 something, one, two, three, maybe on Monday. But Monday evening is when we get some rain pulling back into the area. So maybe upper 60s to near 70 on Tuesday. Then one more day, and I think this 73 is going to be early in the day on Wednesday. There's a cold front and then a trough, I'll show you, that's going to move through. So I'm a little suspect of that 73 on um, Wednesday. I think it's going to be about 10 degrees colder than that. Yeah. So there, there's a the models are having a hard time adjusting to whether it's going to be more like low 70s or low 60s. And then I think it's not quite going to be that warm on Thursday next week because this colder, another shot of colder air comes in. Not as cold as it is right now, but more into the 50s, daytime, 30s and 40s, nighttime. But that's that's in the next weekend. That's, that's still a good ways off. And the models will flex and move and kind of change their minds. Well, they don't really have minds, but the the, the algorithms will change uh, a few times before then. So we still have a ways to go. All right, here's a look at the surface map. And over the next couple of days, we're going to continue to see high pressure dominating the atmosphere over our neck of the woods. There it is over West Virginia. And I mean, this thing, this ridge is big. It's huge. Taking in all of the Southeastern United States, keeping away any kind of precipitation. Watch it here as we go into today, this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow morning, tomorrow, midday, tomorrow evening. <laughs> here we go into uh, Saturday then into Sunday. Notice it just still fends off anything. It looks like a little, little something there gets a little piece of energy gets going there along Southern Indiana, maybe up near Louisville, maybe some sprinkles. That's on Sunday. Then here comes Monday. Now things start to take shape. High pressure, as you see, moves off the Atlantic. Here comes a couple of low pressure systems. Warm front that's really going to warm us into the 70s. Uh, before we start to get any rain, this is Monday. We go into Tuesday. Now we've got some showers for sure. It's not going to be a lot right now. The chances of rain or coverage 30 to 40%, not that much, but the cold front will come through. It's not going to linger like the last time last weekend when it just slowly came in, stalled, backed up and came back in, then stalled and backed up and finally came through. This one will come on through pretty quickly. It does have a disturbance back behind it. So Tuesday into Wednesday, there's still some lingering showers, and this is when the colder air comes in, but not cold enough for snow or ice or any of that. We're going to stay just warm enough to keep any of that away from us. So we had a high again yesterday for the second day in a row of 50, officially at the airport. 65 is where we should be, so that was 15 degrees below average. It felt like it. And today I'm going sunny with a high of 55. Tonight, a low of 34, a little bit warmer. All right, you guys, have a great Thursday. Thanks for watching as always. God bless you, and I'll see you back here tomorrow morning.